A firefighter in Hart County is back in the hospital after the, being exposed to some kind of chemical at a fire that happened over the weekend. Yeah, four others were also exposed. Seven News reporter Nicole Ford was in Georgia today. She has details on the hazards firefighters deal with each day. After decades in the fire service and responding to hundreds of fires, the Hart County Fire Chief tells me having to send five of his men to the hospital was a cause for real concern. As traffic picks up on Anderson Highway, it's hard to miss House 2186. Luckily, the people in the house escaped with their lives, but it could have been worse. A house that was once white burned black. What's left just scattered throughout the grass. I called 911. Ten minutes later, 911 still ain't here. But even before that, five minutes later after that, the house got fully engulfed. That was an explosion, and then shot from the back all the way through the front. Oof. It was Saturday around 5 p.m. when Hart County firefighters received that call. We had about 25 firemen on the scene. Uh, when we arrived on the scene, there was heavy smoke and flames coming out of the roof and the windows. The intensity of the blaze kept everyone outside as they fought the fire for 40 minutes until it was under control. One of my firemen uh, came to us, said he was feeling ill. He was nauseated, felt like he wanted to throw up. He had some, uh, felt like he was burning around his face and neck. Throughout the night, four more fell ill. All five were taken to AnMed Health for chemical exposure. Uh, all this man made uh, stuff and make stuff out of now. It's it puts off all kind of different chemicals and toxins. It's you worry about it every time you have a structure fire. As the firefighters recover, GBI steps in to help determine the type of chemical. Now, as for what started this fire, the fire department and the Hart County Sheriff's Office are still conducting a joint investigation in Hart County, Georgia. Nicole Ford, Seven News. The two women who lived in the home were able to escape, but one dog and six or seven kittens died in that fire.